Hey YouTube, it's your boy Domle. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel. Before anything, guys, I need you to stop what you're doing. And yes, stop what you're doing. Hit that notification bell right up there. Once you hear that bell go ding, you will get my videos as soon as I post them. Also, guys, hit that subscribe button down below or whatever it is on the screen so you can be part of the best squad ever. And our name is the Dummy Squad. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for supporting me and my content that I do for you. I love you, love you so much. And today's video is going to be on the foundation from ColourPop, which is right here. And this little bitch right here will be $12. $12? And I got the shade Medium 100. Then I also got the concealer and the shade Light 16. I love it. Like, it's so cute, but it's so small. Like, compared to my other foundation and, like, concealer, like, they're super small. But this is new. This isn't. This has already been out in ColourPop. But this is the main focus. I'm curious if it's going to do wonders. And I also got the two powders, which I think they're three, but I got the two in Banana right here and Translucent. This is gonna be for under my eye and this is gonna be for all over. So I can make sure that this foundation can last for the wear test because I'm gonna do a wear test for you guys in this foundation. I haven't ever done that before on my channel where I put the foundation on, do different activities, and then come back and let you guys know if it will last. So I'm so excited to try that out. So let me get right back to the video. guys so I didn't get a, a primer or a no I didn't get a primer from ColourPop but I am going to use my holy grail primer because I know that that works for me when I do put my makeup on and when I do actually wear makeup all through the day so I am going to use that to see if that will help the foundation last which is the matte rescue from I mean the poreless matte rescue from benefit cosmetics I love this primer you guys know that this is a holy grail primer of mine I say that all the time because I want you guys to know that I love this primer and I'm in love with my skin guys I have been using this secret product that I can't speak about yet. Anywho, so now that I got this nice primer on, we're gonna jump into the foundation, and this is from ColourPop, like I said, and suppose this is a no filter foundation, and you get, I think, 0.85 fluid ounces in this bottle. So first I'm gonna be taking my Morphe Y6 right here from the Gilded Collection. And as you guys can tell, a little bit goes a long way, and I'm just stippling the product on my face right now. However, that little dab that I just took out my hand literally like covered majority of majority of my face. Like, it's really good, and it's full coverage. That's not bad. Look at that, guys. Twelve dollars, bitch. It almost reminds me of um, the drop foundation from NYX Cosmetics, and it really doesn't have a smell. If it did have a smell that came to mind, it would be like skincare, like not a bad or overwhelming smell, but it, it's okay. It doesn't smell like paint. <laughs> you know, sometimes cheap foundations smell like paint, so it was no jab at anybody, but you know, the cheaper the product sometimes can smell very bad. All right, I'm gonna take a beauty blender just so that I can actually press the product into my skin. It looks very nice like this, but I just want to make sure I evenly get the product to be on my face. Like, look at my face. Like, it looks like it's very blurred out, which I really like. It did say that it had a no-filter foundation. So I really think that that really is what it said it was going to do. And it's not fully dry yet. So I know that this is not going to be a super drying foundation. But I'm going to give it time to see if it is. But it feels very comfortable on the face. Like, it's beating like... It's giving me more like a NARS like cover effect. Like, it looks very nice. And it feels super comfortable. It looks pretty good. Now we're going to jump into the ColourPop no filter concealer and I like I said guys I got the shade 
light 18. So let's get it right. Oh, and it has a flat applicator. Like, I love flat applicators. Like, oh my god. Mm, I'm doing a little too much, but um, this product is really good. Like, look at that. That is your, like, one dip. All right, so now let's start with the right side and we're going to be using this brush from the Morphe Gilded Collection and this is the concealer brush. All right guys, so that is this side blended out with the brush. I mean, it's not that bad at all. However, I feel like the brush moved the product a little too much. So if I like the way the Beauty Blender beats this side, I'm gonna just go back over and just make sure I blend it. Like if you look up close, like it took a little bit of the concealer and like dragged it and I didn't like that. So I think the Beauty Blender is gonna be the best part. Cause the beauty blender you can get like right under your eye like that. And like, do you guys see that? That looks so much better than on this side. Like this looks very nice. And I also like to have my concealer set on my face for a little bit before I jump onto it so that it can dry and get a little sticky. But that side is like very luminous. Like that is cute. I like that. These two right here, so far, they are doing fucking amazing together. I love the foundation, I love the base, and I also love the concealer. So now we're gonna jump into powdering, and then contouring, and then I'm gonna do my eyes and brows off camera, because the main focus of this is gonna be the foundation. And oh my god, like so far, I love everything about it. Everything about this. Ugh. My skin is looking so good and very blurry right now. So next we're gonna jump into a translucent in the ColourPop no filter um, setting powder right here. And I love this from when I first tried it. And it's cool because it almost reminds me of my holy grail, which you guys know is Laura. Miss Laura here, make sure you're snatched. This is a bitch right here. Like this is my bitch. Like this is my main bitch, not my side bitch. Like this will be my side bitch. But this is my main bitch. I love this. It's $40 and this is only like $9 or $10. Before I go and do my eyes, I'm going to take a picture after I set my face and see if it has any flashback because I don't want to look like Flashback Mary. And this powder is very fine, which I love a fine powder, a fine powder. And I think we're going to do a nice subtle bronzy look. I'm not going to actually use contour because I didn't get a darker creamy shade for this. So that I'm going to just use my bronzer and blush for my contour. Next we're going to jump into the shade Banana. And this is the exact same thing but like I said guys just a little bit more of my skin tone. I can do a little bit more all over. All right guys, so now we're gonna go into our contour. I'm going to be using this shade right here from the Dare To Be Create palette. Which you guys know I used in my last video. I'm going to do this and carve out my cheeks real quick. This is the Y13 Fan Brush from Morphe from the Gilded Collection. Also guys, this is a neat trick that I learned from Lipstick Nick. 
that does makeup on Jeffree Star. And the way that she kills his contour, I love it. Like, she slays it. Oh, can you do my makeup one day, please? Like, I would love to have you on a small channel like me to just beat my face. I want to feel luxury. I want to feel it. I want to feel beautiful. You know, I make myself beautiful, but your work is fucking amazing, Lipstick Nick. I love it. I love it to death. Oh, never mind. Here goes my bronzer that I was looking for that was in front of my face. This is the ABH Cosmetics right here. And the bronzer Dawn, Dawny, Twanny. Then I'm gonna take my blush brush that I use and I'm just gonna go through and blend that contour up. Like that made my contour so sharp. Next we're going to the, from ABH, the Blush Trio and the shade Peachy Love. I love this guys, you know that. These two are my favorite, but all three give you that nice, bronzy, orangey, like peachy, sun-kissed look. And you know I'm gonna go for that today. And we're just gonna blend in all three just like that. And we're gonna start where the cheek of the apple is and go up. All right, next I'm gonna do the eyes and brows off camera and then I'll be right back. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I'm going to give it a few hours to see if this foundation holds up. You know guys, that at least takes me between two to three hours to film a video. Since then, the foundation has held up very well. As you guys can tell, it looks very good so far. It gives it more of a natural coverage that I really like and went for this look. And I think this look looks pretty pretty. So we're gonna see how long this lasts. So I love you guys. Be back in a little bit. Five hours later. All right guys, I am back and I have the tea. The tea is you need to go on to www.colourpop.com and then click on foundation and get your shade. This foundation is fucking amazing. Literally, I'm not exaggerating. I had this foundation on for the past five hours and it literally is 7.30 p.m. My skin doesn't feel irritated. My skin looks amazing. This foundation fits me well. Like literally, you can tell like it fits me to a T. I love it so much. The only thing that I can say that I really was shocked about is that I thought that the concealer was full coverage. However, it is medium, um, natural to medium coverage. You have to build it up, but I was scared to build it up with the powder because I didn't want it to look cakey, even though the powder stated that it doesn't look cakey. I did take a picture for you guys. And I'm going to post it right here with flash. I didn't see any, any flashback that is not what I didn't want to have. Like, I wanted my highlight areas to have a little like mm, when you took the picture, but it didn't look like Flashback Mary. It really did look good. It was very photo ready type powder like I said it was. So guys, I think the powder and the foundation is amazing and the concealer. Guys, go get yours. Go get yours, literally, go here, take it, take it. Enjoy it, love it, I love it. It is an amazing product, guys. The review is nothing but thumbs up. It is Dom Lace approved. So you Dommy squad, go out and get ColourPop. ColourPop is fucking amazing. Literally, like, look at this. I am dumbfounded. Like, I am shocked of how good this makeup has held up for the past five hours. Guys, I love you. Thank you for watching today's video. Let me go wipe this makeup off so I can get to bed. Oh. Bye, guys.